talk about every single detail that it has. Real usage, real reviews. MobileReviewsA.ca Hi, this is Agata from MobileReviewsA.ca and today I'll be doing a close-up um, detailed overview of the Hit Case Pro case for iPhone 5 and also for 5S. But this is quite a unique case and I'm really excited to show you all the details. Even though it is one piece, I will separate them into two and talk about every single detail that it has. The two pieces of the case, they basically are attached by hinges here in the middle and they just fold like a book. The entire case is this polycarbon uh, material, very hard plastic that is on the front and on the back piece. And it's and it feels quite um, almost soft in the hands when it's not really soft at all. So I'm gonna start with the first piece, um, which is the front. And the front has a clear screen protector and it's just a clear plastic. I was cleaning this and then I realized that this kind of started going in. And so I looked inside and what, what it is is actually this entire piece can be taken out. And um, I, at first I thought that this is the O-ring and actually this is not an O-ring. This is an H seal, which is a, even a better protection for your, for your phone from drops and impacts. And the entire clear plastic, it's covering, um, it's glued from the top to the bottom. So this seal is quite thick in in itself. It's still rubbery, you can bend it. So this piece also includes the home button, which is again, the same kind of seal, rubbery silicone type. It has a clear plastic for your camera and your sensor. And for the speaker, um, even though it looks like it should be the same type of rubber silicone, it's not. The speaker here is covered with a very thin layer of plastic. It almost feels like um, one of those plastic grocery bags. It's really quite thin. And the same type of material is used to cover the ports at the bottom of this H seal. And these uh, ports are the mic and the speaker. Also the front piece so now talking about the actual plastic, the polycarbon plastic, um, has an opening at the, at the top for your camera and your sensor that corresponds to the clear um, plastic covered from the H seal. And so the home button has kind of like a space to come out. So the rubber, you're actually attaching the rubber, not the plastic here. So the power button is just this silver knob that you press up and down. The other piece to this case is actually this headphone jack um, knob. And it's just like a, it's attached to the case and it's just a little bit of plastic that you just uh, fit into the hole. This case, since it's really ruggedized, does not have any other ports that are open except for the headphone jack. And so there is no lightning port uh, latch or opening in here. The only other things that are here visible is uh, these holes uh, for the speaker and the mic and they basically correspond to the H seal ports that are covered by that thin layer of rubber. The other things that you can see when you look inside is that the corners are actually kind of squared off and they have this rubber silicone extended in the corner. So there's an extra bit of uh, rubber right here for each corner, specifically this corner here is really quite, quite uh, thicker and bigger. So the back piece is actually quite interesting. Uh, the back piece is again, the same type of hard polycarbon plastic and it has the three latches that snap onto the front piece of the case. So the back piece has elements that are uh, foam and it's a shock absorbing type of foam or impact absorbing. And when you press into them, they're quite soft and it's there's four of them and they're exactly the same, all four pieces. Another uh, shock absorbing foam uh, piece is this foam by the lens opening. And it's just on one side, it's actually on the left side of the lens. 
the three latches that are part of this back piece this one opens fully and this latch in here contains the hole for the knob from the front piece and still contains the little holes that go and correspond to the holes on the front piece the side latch it just moves a little bit away from the case and the top latch has the hole for the power button to press well, I'm going to show you how basically you close the case and it's a little bit like closing a book you just close the two pieces together and then you snap the three latches the bottom one here there we go and it's a really type of like satisfying snap and the latches are very much aligned with the rest of the case so you can't you almost can't feel them and the bottom latch right now when it's closed I can't even access the headphone jack I have to open the latch to actually access the headphone jack the other part the other ports that are to this case are the plus and minus and it's just little knobs little uh, metallic silver looking knobs that look exactly like the power button the volume mute port and button is completely covered you cannot turn your volume on and off when the phone is inside this case so the back of the case contains a camera attachment and this is a wide angle camera attachment and it also came with an included um, cover for the lens and it's just like a rubbery uh, piece that covers but it's really it fits really tightly around the lens and this attachment this piece it's not removable so it's constantly attached to your phone this case came with an attachment another attachment and it's this rail slide mount system and there's a piece here that fits into this mount and you basically just slide it and it clicks on so you know that it's secure so now I can't um, just take it out this attachment is is a piece that actually attaches to all the vehicles or helmets or any other piece of equipment that you're using to do your extreme sports or in extreme environment situations so you can attach this to the helmet the star shaped piece this red piece actually peels and it's um and it's a sticker but it's a removable sticker so you can i'm, I'm assuming it's said on the website that you can remove it from one um, piece of equipment and then attach it to something something else so this the packaging and the stand and the case looked so much like GoPro that I realized and I read on the headcase website that it actually does fit the GoPro mounts so this mount for example if I just unscrew this uh, knob here all of this fits the actual attachment that came with this case so this mount can be reusable and vice versa for the GoPro so there's one more attachment that came with this case and it's just a wrist guard and you just put it you can put it through one of the corners here on the top on the other side of the lens so another thing that I want to mention that is included with this case is there is an app an app and it's called video meter and it will overlay uh, your speed altitude shock and g-force on top of your videos that you take using this case and your iPhone so we'll be doing some quite interesting tests with this case so subscribe to our channel to not miss them and also if you have any questions about any of the components or maybe the mount itself or the application just let me know in the comment section below this review and you can also find us on Google+, Facebook and Twitter and ask us questions over there. And thank you for watching. Again, my name is Agata and I'm a reviewer at mobilereviewsa.ca. Go check out our website for a complete blog and a close-up pictures of this case will be coming out soon. And stay tuned for more reviews to see if you can really use this case for your extreme activities.